So let's have a look at the other method of doing this. I want to write this expression as a over x plus 2 plus b over x minus 5. That was a particularly messy plus sign. Well, let's do the fraction addition a x minus 5 plus b x plus 2 all over x plus 2 x minus 5. Now I have the same denominator, so my numerators must be equal. 28 is a x minus 5 plus b x plus 2. Now, as we saw in the previous video, it's possible to expand brackets, collect like terms, equate coefficients. But there is a quicker way. The quicker way is using the null factor law. If I can make this equal to zero, then a doesn't matter, and this has to equal this. And if I can make this equal to zero, then b doesn't matter, and this has to equal this. Well, how do I do that? How do I make this be 0? Well, that's easy. x has to equal 5. So if x equals 5, then 28 must be 0 plus b times 5 plus 2, which is 7b. Now, when you get better at this, you can skip this step and just go straight to 7b. OK, that means b must be 4. OK, how do I eliminate b now so I can solve for a? Well, I need to make x equal to negative 2 to get rid of this term. If x is negative 2, then 28 must equal a times negative 2 take 7, sorry, take 5, I'm a step ahead of myself, plus 0, because x was negative 2, which is negative 7a. Again, when you get better at this, you can skip this step and go straight to negative 7 times a. But if that's true, then a must be negative 4. Therefore, my expression is a over x plus 2, negative 4 over x plus 2, plus b over x minus 5. That's 4 over x minus 5. Shall we try another? I want to write this in the form a over x plus b over x minus 3. Well, let's do the fraction uh, addition. a x minus 3 plus b x all over x x minus 3. Now I have the same denominators. Equate the numerators. Therefore, x minus 2 must equal a x minus 3 plus b x. And again, I could work it all out and do simultaneous equations, but there's a quicker way. If I make this 0, I eliminate a and can solve for b. And if I make this 0, I can eliminate b and solve for a. So, if x is 3, this goes away. If x is 3, I have 3 take 2. I'm going to write it all out again until you're all comfortable with it. 3 take 2 is, this one's going away, plus b times 3. Well, that means 1 equals 3b, and b is a third. How do I eliminate b? I said equal x equal to 0. If x is 0, then I have 0 take 2 is equal to a times 0 take 3 plus 0. Negative 2 equals negative 3a 
A must be two thirds. Okay, go back to my original expression. My original expression was, I'm not quite going to pick this on at once, am I? I'll move it up in a moment. A over X, that was 2 thirds over X plus B over X minus 3. That was 1 third over X minus 3. Now I can simplify that a little bit. That is 2 over 3x plus 1 over 3x minus 3. 